These are the waters with the toughest conditions in the world when it comes to underwater warfare. The waters of the Baltic Sea along the east coast of Sweden. This was one of the challenging test areas used during the development of the toughest torpedo there is. The Torpedo 2000 from Beaufort's underwater systems. Since it can make it here, it'll make it anywhere. The Torpedo 2000 is a completely new heavyweight torpedo with many unique features developed in close collaboration with the Swedish Navy to fulfill the extended requirements for the next generation of naval vessels and submarines. Beaufort's underwater systems has manufactured high-performance torpedoes since 1910. The company has a high level of technological competence and is specialized in developing, manufacturing, and marketing advanced underwater defense systems. One of its systems is the Torpedo 2000. Its mission is to hunt and kill any intruder on or below the surface in any water. These are the main features of the Torpedo 2000. Dual purpose. It can be used against both large surface vessels and deep diving submarines. A new thermal high-powered propulsion system. High speed and extremely long range. Two-way wire communication between the torpedo and the fire control for full combat control and optimum flexibility in tactical use. A newly designed, intelligent, active, passive sensor system with long acquisition range. And high hit probability on all targets. The Torpedo 2000 is the main weapon system for submarines. Because of its low negative buoyancy and its swim-out capability, the Torpedo 2000 can even be launched by a submarine lying in wait on the bottom. It can also be launched from surface vessels and from fixed coastal defense installations. The Torpedo 2000 is fitted with a silent, powerful, seven-cylinder axial piston steam engine developed by Beaufort's underwater systems. It's a new thermal propulsion system based on the company's long experience with high-test peroxide paraffin water propellant. This system, consisting of the HTP tank and fuel tank, together with the engine, and its gas regulator equipment, has been chosen for its very high energy density, giving the Torpedo 2000 outstanding performance. The process is supervised and controlled by the onboard torpedo computer. The afterbody consists of a new pump jet system with a stator, a rotor, rudders, and elevators. The unique propulsion system provides several tactical advantages. High speed and long range with a wake-free silent run. Very good maneuverability and great running depth and very high reliability. Torpedo contact is maintained via a two-way communication link, a plastic-coated copper wire. The torpedo can thereby be supported during its approach to the target without interference from countermeasures wakes or false target signatures. The operator has full control over the torpedo. During the run he can change its tactical behavior and engage another target. Via the link the operator selects the mode of the homing head, arms or disarms the torpedo warhead, and after target contact transmits the attack order to the torpedo. The torpedo continuously feeds its heading, speed, 
depth, position, and homing system information back to the fire control. The advanced homing system has three selectable modes. Active, passive, or alternate active-passive. The selected mode can be changed during the run to match the target's behavior. The system can track several targets simultaneously, classify target signals, and reject false signals from both acoustic countermeasures and the environment. It can engage submerged targets at great depth and in shallow waters, even in severe acoustic waters like the Baltic Sea with its layers of varying temperatures and salinity. When a target is detected and identified, the attack volume around the target is defined in the torpedo's computer. It can either be mobile with the same speed and course as the target or stationary. Not until the torpedo reaches the attack volume is the homing device activated and the warhead armed. After the attack order, the homing system takes control and guides the torpedo onto the target. If contact with the target is not obtained or is lost during the attack phase, one or several search programs are initiated to re-establish contact. The homing head's signals are processed in the torpedo's computer located in the electronics section. Also here are the circuits for course and depth control, the power supply unit, the gyros, and the proximity fuse. The computerized hydroacoustic proximity fuse discerns the target from such disturbances as wakes and decoys and initiates the warhead at a preset depth under the target. The warhead can also be initiated by an impact fuse, even at acute strike angles. The main charge can kill any conventional submarine or a surface target with a displacement of up to 10,000 tons, or seriously damage any nuclear submarine or larger surface vessel. The Torpedo 2000 exercise version can be launched and operated at full speed and full range in the same tactical and realistic way as the war torpedo. The homing system is used and the proximity fuse functions as a hit indicator. After recovery, the data from the recording system in the exercise head are fed into an evaluation program. The torpedo's functions, the communication between the torpedo and the fire control, and the homing system data for each practice run are evaluated. The Torpedo 2000 from Beaufort's underwater systems is a dual-purpose, high-performance, long-range defense system for submarines and naval vessels. It's a heavyweight torpedo with many unique features and the capacity to find and kill any intruder on or below the surface at any depth and in any water. The Torpedo 2000, an unmatchable underwater defense weapon system. <laughs>